Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, we'll go through uh, many of the details here uh, in the platform. Uh, and then following this webinar at uh, 11 a.m., so in, in about uh, 29 minutes, uh, we will uh, present the Bookmap Advanced. So a uh, distinction between the two, the Bookmap Advanced um, is, uh, is for those who um, already have Bookmap are in trial or current customers, and they already have the details uh, regarding the platform. So uh, that's where uh, we look at uh, more advanced analysis of uh, how to uh, start to read the order flow here in Bookmap, uh, and then um, uh, and move move beyond uh, just uh, some of the platform functionality. Okay, so uh, let's start off here with the risk disclaimer. Uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And uh, any new traders out there, uh, let me know. Just uh, want to welcome you uh, to the room here uh, and, uh, and uh, encourage you to uh, ask as many questions as you have here. Uh, that's what this webinar is for. Okay, so um, it's a, a, a way for you to see and, and understand in, in, um, in real time in, in the real markets, uh, live markets, uh, what, um, what book map is displaying uh, and, uh, and all the different uh, functionalities. All right. Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. I see uh, B. William, uh, from also from yesterday, uh, is new. Okay, and uh, and a few others here as well. So so welcome. Uh, and uh, uh, some of the resources here, I just want to point uh, you to them. Uh, Bookmap.com. You can go right to it here, and we'll click on Explore. Okay, there's the intro videos here. They're very short, just a, a minute or two each, uh, to get yourself familiar with Bookmap. And then let's go down to the Pricing tab. Okay, so here. Uh, are the different versions of Bookmap? Now, there's only two uh, different versions of Bookmap: the basic and advanced. Okay, 49 per month and 99 per month for the advanced. They are billed quarterly, and the difference between the two are all of the add-ons and the ability to trade from the chart here. Okay, so you get all of all of the add-ons as a whole package deal uh, for 99 per month. Okay. Now you, we also offer Bookmap with equities. Now we're not a data provider, uh, but the, we're offering the DX feed through us um, in a partnership deal. So, uh, but we're not responsible for providing that data. It is DX feed. Okay, uh, and um, uh, you can get this here uh, uh, as a package. Now the DX feed is only for U.S. equities. It's not for futures. Okay. You also get a 14-day trial period with it. Now, the 14-day trial period you get with the DX feed uh, is delayed data. So if you're not interested in that um, and you want to see the live uh, equities uh, in, the, in the live market, then you will need to, to pay uh, uh, for it. Okay. So um, you can get the DX feed with the basic and advanced here as an add-on. Okay. Uh, you don't have to get the package deal uh, if you don't want. Okay, so you have more flexibility uh, potentially here with a, a basic and advanced. Okay, regardless, you get that 14-day trial period. Uh, if you want to see what uh, uh, plan is right for you, you can click here and, and we can compare all the different features. Okay, so there's that link there. Uh, and then once you become a member uh, in the Bookmap portal, click on this link up here. Uh, there's all sorts of um, resources here to uh, um, to check out uh, in the portal, and uh, I can show a few of them here as well. Uh, you can uh, follow us on Twitter. You'll get the most up-to-date information uh, and um, uh, retweets of other other traders, etc. Uh, here, uh, and then um, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of great stuff here. Uh, and if you're new, uh, again, I would uh, uh, recommend watching the intro video here. And then uh, watch some of the features and components videos uh, because they go through, you know, what what book map, uh, uh, the functionality here uh, and um, what you're looking at. Uh, and then follow it up with uh, just a few. Don't go crazy uh, quite yet with the order flow video snippets, but you can get a feel for uh, what um, 
uh, bookmap is showing you uh, in the phenomena uh, out there within the marketplace, uh, that bookmap uh, allows for pretty, pretty unique transparency to see. Uh, and this is what we go through in detail uh, in the advanced uh, webinar series. All right. So um, you can also uh, access our educational course and uh, the recorded webinars for platform details. They're all here as well. You can see the one from yesterday right here. Okay. We also offered a sneak peek on Thursday and Friday last week to the advanced webinars. And so those recordings are available for you as well. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Okay. And um, let's get into, uh, into book map. Okay. And uh, let's see. Well, let's see what's moving here first. These summer months, uh, there hasn't been a lot of movement um, in the ES. Now we had the JOLTS job review uh, report, and uh, we can see the ES is doing pretty well. NASDAQ is uh, is lagging on this, to be honest. Uh, we have OPEC uh, meetings uh, and um, uh, oil. We've been following that, but uh, today uh, let's actually, you know, I kind of I kind of like the ES. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, and uh, we just see a big drop here in the currencies and gold as well. So we can take a look at some of those thinner markets too. Uh, but we'll, we'll start with the ES because this is this is trending pretty nicely. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. Okay, all right, so this is book map. Uh, and we're gonna go through the basics, okay? Since um, uh, there are some some new guys in here, well, let's, let's, uh, let's just go through what book map is showing you because uh, I know this looks like a lot of uh, a lot of data and a lot of confusion. Uh, it's actually very very simple uh, and a very clear objective view of the marketplace. And uh, I'll show you how uh, how it's displayed. Okay, we're going to start and we're going to just take off layers of uh, of information here. Okay, and we're just going to look at a candlestick chart. Because most of us, we can start here. We understand it. And let's look at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay. All right. So uh, open, high, low, close every single five minutes here. And you can see between each vertical dotted line is 15 minutes. And then we see three candles within each period. Okay. Uh, and um, here's our 930 open. We can see the volume pick up. We have a volume subchart here, as you can see. Uh, and um, initial move to the downside, and then we can see that uh, we've broken above the range here and accepted, and we continue to the upside. All right. Uh, so, you know, the candlesticks, you can start to read, you know, the wicks uh, and the color of the body uh, and the length of, of the body or length of the complete candle and start to, you know, understand some of the order flow. And that's good, uh, you know, it, but there's so much information that is lacking here. And um, uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, exactly why. I'm very curious about this area here at 2475. We'll take a look in book map and I'll show you. Um, so um, uh, the, uh, uh, the problem here, uh, the candlestick chart doesn't show you, is it doesn't show you uh, where the volume is trading. We have no clue. Um, you know, we, we can see that uh, uh, in the sub chart, there's a lot of volume down in this area here at the open. There usually is. Uh, and then, uh, and then we see it kind of taper off, and then it starts to extend in some of these areas uh, here. But we have no idea what type of volume it was, where it took place on this five-minute period, uh, and um, uh, how much uh, exactly. Uh, so that's a very, very important information here, and it's completely lacking in the candlestick chart. Okay, and we have uh, also no clue of the, the uh, historical best bid and offer. Where are they, where are they bidding uh, for this instrument? Uh, where are they offering? Where do they wanna be sellers? Where are they lined up? Okay, so let's start by adding on just the best bid and offer, okay? And um, let's uh, zoom into an area here. So you can click on this hand tool, hover over an area, and you can zoom in really quickly with your center mouse wheel. Okay, you don't need to use the, uh, the uh, magnifying zoom in and zoom out um, uh, icons here uh, in the toolbar. So uh, just looking at the uh, uh, the best bid and offer, we're already starting to see 
some uh, some interesting stuff. Okay, um, not as interesting as it has been the last few days, but uh, here uh, we we can see a little bit. We we can start to see um, some of this uh, microstructure here. Okay, and that's completely lacking uh, in the candlestick chart. Okay, uh, we just we just see the open high low close uh, of the period, and um, uh, we don't understand that. Uh, uh, you know, there was initial, actually, initial move to the upside here, uh, and then, uh, and then we see a microstructure here, okay, and then we see a break of it here, right, and um, uh, and then we see the sideways con consolidation again, and then another break of that structure here. Okay, there's actually another smaller structure within here as well. Okay, so we're already starting to get more insight to the price action. Uh, that the candlestick uh, is not allowing us. Uh, so let's now add the volume dots on, okay? And uh, now we have a much better uh, insight to what's going on. Let me bring down the dot size a bit, okay? Okay, so uh, now we have a, a very good understanding of exactly what kind of uh, a volume took place and where uh, within those, this, these five minute periods, okay? So let's just zoom into this area here, all right? And uh, very interesting to see. Uh, we can see the, um, uh, here's our initial move up to the upside here, and notice the uh, aggressive volume up at this area here, okay? We're exhausting out. There's very little trading up here. Uh, in fact, we can look right at our um, uh, volume columns here, and 222 contracts traded up here, okay? One tick below that, we see almost 5,000 uh, a trade within this area right here, just right here. That's all it's recording is this chart range, okay? And uh, you can see that's significantly more. So we're basically exhausting out here and we rotate lower, right? And note that uh, the, the color and the size of the volume dots here, what bookmap is showing you uh, is the um, the aggressor classification on the historical best bid and offer? Okay, so let me uh, let me zoom into this dot here, uh, and I'll show you. Now you can see that this is uh, a pie display here. There is so much volume that took place here that we're just giving you the overall delta of that volume, and it's it's about 50/50 in this case. Okay, a little more selling than uh, than buying. Okay, this one down here is about, uh, you know, a little maybe less than two-thirds uh, uh, selling compared to buying. Now, if you, you can see, obviously, this is a graphical representation of the volume. Uh, and uh, the, the reference here of the size of the dot is in reference to the rest of the dots here. Okay. But uh, for you guys that uh, uh, want a little bit more than just the um, uh, graphical representation, you can use the tooltip and hover over here, these dots, and what you get is the date, the exact time, uh, and down to millisecond level, uh, and then we have what was on the ask at this price level, and the volume at that price level, okay? So this dot represents here uh, over 3,800 uh, contracts that, uh, uh, that traded, okay? Now, watch as I zoom into this dot, though. Okay, note how we break apart all of this data, okay? And now we're getting a, a much cleaner or uh, a very, very objective uh, view of what occurred here. And as I continue to, to zoom in, we continue to break apart all of these little dots or larger dots, and you can see exactly what traded here, okay? Now, uh, you can see that we're down here at uh, microsecond level, Okay, so we're talking millions of seconds here, okay? And you can see that very clearly, this is algorithmic activity, okay? Look at these little tranches of trades here, okay? And this is an algo uh, that's firing off three at a time, pausing three at a time, pausing, et cetera, okay? Now, what we're looking at here uh, in this chart is uh, the historical bid, which is the green line, and the historical offer, which is the red line. Right? You can see that nothing traded up here. There's no green dots, uh, which would be a market buy order uh, on the uh, on the best uh, offer. Okay. Instead, we see a lot of selling hitting the bid here. 
and taking liquidity off of the best bid. So a red dot is an, an aggressive market sell. Okay, a green dot will be an aggressive market buy. So we use that aggressor classification of volume. All right. Okay, and you can start to see some of the pie displays here already uh, that are giving you the overall shape uh, and understanding of what occurred as we start to zoom back out. Okay, so you can see that we're recording every single event, uh, but we're also giving you the overall shape and, and delta of the exact trading uh, activity. Okay, so now as we zoom out and we look again at back at our five minute candlestick chart, we can see that a lot of aggressive selling took place down here. Okay, and uh, now this is going to be uh, trapped volume, right? Because look how we retest here and uh, look at the selling down here. Okay, in fact, we can zoom right in there and we can put this within our chart range and I can tell you exactly what traded here. 142 contracts traded right in this area here. Okay, you can roll over each dot and it will tell you exactly what traded as well. All right, okay. So uh, we're basically, we saw the exhaustion on this side here and uh, now it's technically not exhaustion. Uh, that would, exhaustion would be complete lack of uh, aggressor uh, volume. Okay, but com comparatively here, uh, we're not seeing a lot of selling. Okay, one tick above, we're seeing a lot more buying and selling. Okay, so we don't even come back down and retest this area. This is as far as we get, and then the market goes to the upside. Okay, and you can start to see the aggressive buying starting to come in and pulling price up. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, and we're just studying volume right now. This is a lot like a footprint chart, except that the footprint chart has a problem as well. And that problem is that uh, it is time-based, uh, and it, or it might be a, a candle uh, uh, rotation-based. Okay, uh, and that problem is um, to define it is that it's going to aggregate this data. You're not going to be able to zoom in, and not you probably won't see this retest, for example, right? Because this is within the five-minute period. Okay, so that's an advantage that Bookmap will give you compared to the the, uh, the problem that exists with a, uh, a footprint chart. Okay, you're not going to see this retest here. Okay, it's going to be uh, in the aggregation of that five minute period. All right, so uh, now um, so now we've got insight to the the traded volume, which is great. Uh, you know, for a lot of traders, that's that's enough. Uh, but um, uh, I want to show you uh, the next step here and the next layer of data, okay? And that is, uh, we're going to look at the dome here, okay? Now, this, this is the dome and the columns here in Bookmap. There are many different data types of columns here. You can right-click in these columns, uh, and you can see all the different data types that are available, okay? So this is a format for the column, and, and there's some other options here for depending on what column it is. Uh, but then um, uh, the data types that we have here, uh, we have the current order book, which is the dome, okay? Uh, and then uh, we have the volume column, the trades counter column, quotes counter, quotes delta, a notes column, okay? That can be online notes from the cloud or custom notes that you just put in uh, to book map here. And we also have a time and sales column. Now you can also insert a new column here or hide a column, okay? All right, so now the dome or the COB column, uh, we have two of them here. One, uh, if I click here and I choose format the column, you can see that I have it uh, as uh, uh, numbers only here, okay? Now I can show it as bars or bars and numbers, and I can split it out and inverse the split, uh, et cetera. Now for this column, I like just looking at the, um, the numbers, okay? And then I like uh, making another uh, current order book column just to the right of it. Now, this is my setup, uh, and it's up to you. Uh, you might uh, prefer something else. So I like having the the, the actual uh, numeric values here and then a graphical representation in bars only, uh, just to the right of it. So very quickly, I can see high areas of liquidity, okay? And in a dome, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at uh, price levels here where traders are lining up uh, to... Um, uh, to bid an offer, OK? 
okay? And, um, uh, and we can see them here. This is our price ladder, okay? Here is our uh, inside market, our best bid and offer, which is reflected here as well with the dashed lines. Okay, this is this is current best bid and offer, and this number is the last traded volume. Okay, and then you can see our depth here on the offer and our depth here on the bid down to these white lines. All right. So, uh, and the um, the dome or the depth of market uh, uh, window here uh, is um, or column is. It's excellent to understand the current configuration of the book and what's going on in the in the auction where people are lined up to trade. But as we know, uh, they pull and add liquidity as these numbers change all day long, and sometimes they radically change. Right? We can just note already at 2480. Now we see 2,000 are in here. Okay. So there's now the sellers are lining up and getting aggressive. They want to sell at this level. But what was there before? Okay, and if these guys pull, we don't have we don't have any record of understanding they were here previously, All right? And that's a problem with the dome. Okay, now the way that Bookmap solves that problem uh, is by the uh, heat map and showing the historical evolution of the limit order book. Okay, so they did pull. Okay, uh, as we came up into this area. Right, and now I can start to read right here uh, their behavior as we started to come up toward them. Okay, so in this window here, uh, the the uh, the current best bid and offer in the last traded volume okay, is the heat map. Now, when you see the heat map change uh, and get brighter, that means there's more liquidity uh, in the uh, limit order book. Okay, so we just saw a flip of the book, in fact. And I'll, I'll cover that, uh, but um, uh, the um, uh, the liquidity here, uh, uh, if it gets darker, well, then they're pulling liquidity. Okay, nice breakout. I, I wish I would uh, have a bit more time to cover these because I was looking for this breakout. But uh, anyway, the um, uh, and I'm looking for that flip of the book uh, as well. So um, uh, we'll 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 um, I'll, I'll get to it in just a minute, but. Anyway, the um, uh, where this gets really interesting is we take these this graphical representation of the liquidity, and then we'll transpose it on the chart historically. So now we understand a lot more information that uh, solves the issue of the fleeting uh, uh, understanding of the data here in the uh, in the dome, uh, because we once those numbers change, it is lost. We don't have that data any longer. In a dome, in Bookmap though, you've got the recording of it. Okay, so you can see here that they added into the book, and we can use the uh, tooltip again uh, to, and it gives us the date, the time. Okay, and you can see the time is down to the millisecond, and then what was on the ask here? And look, there was zero contracts here, uh, and then all of a sudden they jumped into the book with 1,629 contracts, 30. Okay, so all of a sudden. Uh, boom, into the book. And this was back here uh, around uh, 1026 or, or so, okay, almost 1027. And then we can see that they're actually added into the book here. Now they're up to 18, 1900 contracts here, okay? All right. So you can start to read the behavior. And now you have an understanding of the uh, context of the auction. And that's very, very insightful. Okay. And and why why is that insightful? Uh, how is this insightful? Well, let's go over the flip of the book, and I'm going to give you a link to uh, the, one of the phenomena called the flip, book flipping, which is actually a disruptive practice, which is illegal, uh, depending on uh, how it's defined uh, by CME Rule 575. Okay, so we're we're showing you, uh, you know, some of this algorithmic activity that is potentially um, uh, uh, prohibited, okay, and this this might be an example of it. Uh, I'm I'm not going to uh, uh, get in there and try to define it, uh, but this is a pretty aggressive flip, okay. So what do I mean by flip? Okay, well they were here with high liquidity on the offer, okay. And let's zoom in a little bit. Let's actually zoom in quite a bit, okay. 
we can read, you can see how the aggressive um, uh, trading took place here. Some of it stayed in the book here, okay? So they wanted to trade and they did trade. We can see that because these trades here took place within this area of high liquidity, okay? So they're staying in the book and getting filled, okay? And then they actually start to pull as well though. We can see 1,800 contracts down to 1,200 contracts here, okay? So some of it traded, some of it was pulled. Now the flip occurs here. Okay, so a pretty, um, it, this can trap traders on the wrong side. Now it depends, and, and that's up for the CME to uh, uh, define, but, uh, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the CME or the uh, 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 CFTC, uh, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll need to define it, and, and it's, it's criminal activity. Uh, but, uh, and I'm not saying that this is, but, the flipping occurs when you see high liquidity here. Uh, some of it traded, some of it was pulled. Uh, you see the aggressive buying, and then they flip over to the other side with high liquidity here. And we can see it right here, 1,765 um, uh, contracts now on the bid. Very aggressive, one tick below the best bid. All right, so now that's pressing on price, and we see more aggressive buying. And we see more pressing here uh, on the uh, on the bid. Okay, they're getting very aggressive. Okay, and you can see what occurs when that happens. Price is now accepting above uh, the breakout area here at 2480. All right. So that's just one example of uh, how uh, you can understand the liquidity and its behavior here to give you a lot of transparency and insight uh, to, uh, to this move, okay? So if you're bullish and uh, you're looking for uh, small pullbacks here uh, and, and getting, getting involved into the market, okay? Because it seems to be accepting above this 2480. Now, all of that can change, but at the moment, this looks pretty good. Okay, and uh, that's when we start to get into the more advanced uh, webinars, which will start here uh, in uh, in a couple minutes. All right, so um, let me uh, go over uh, that flipping, and let me show you where you can find out more information about it on our YouTube page. Here, uh, we'll just go to uh, uh, order flow video snippets, and it's right here. Okay, flip of the book. So it's it's about three minutes long, this video, and, and uh, this video will go through it in detail. All right. Uh, Nikki, this, re this is recorded, and there's a webinar in just one more minute. So if you are uh, currently in trial or a bookmap user, then um, I'll see you over there. Okay. Uh, let's see, JP, how does your stock data feed deal with dark pool data um, is, is coming from uh, NASDAQ total view and NASDAQ last trade. All right. So uh, in, in terms of the um, uh, liquidity, yeah, so you're right. So, I mean, that's, that's where we're getting our data and we're plotting it. Okay. Uh, but uh, we are working on that uh, as well. I know development is, uh, is working on uh, uh, looking for, uh, for dark pool data. Uh, in the equities, okay, and and they're they're coming up with some uh, some special uh, uh, algorithms for that, you know, uh, to to give give that transparency to it. All right, okay, guys. Well, um, uh, thanks for coming, and uh, we will uh, do it again tomorrow at uh, at ten thirty. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.